Because sometimes you just need some color. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. So look at all this juicy, wonderful, fabulous, bright. I'm having so much fun with it. Color. It started with this. 22, 23 calendar. I keep it right next to my computer. I look at it a thousand times a week. I love this calendar. But of course, it's over and I have a nice little Boston one for the next two years. Thank you, Mom. I don't want to throw it away. So I decided I would make some pages for it. Like this. So I can just glue pages in. And then, I don't know, do, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it doesn't matter at this point. So I made myself some pages. And as always happens, I thought, well, I'll make some for my Patreon peeps too. Because... Everybody needs a little color in their life, especially this time of the year if you live in the Northern Hemisphere where it's bleak and gray till May, as they say, which I love. I love the weather being gray, but sometimes you got to break away from the vintage and the black and whites and the, I just, I just wanted to do this. So I did this. I made it for myself and I scaled it to fit. I, I made it specifically to fit this odd size of a project right and so i downloaded it and i hit print because that's what i do you know go off half cocked and it's way too big right whoops because you know i print borderless fill the paper borderless and so i have a few of these giant ones that i will use i'm not sure what for just yet but this is me embracing once again my misprints so I thought, okay, got to adjust it. So I adjusted it, and I hit print again. Look how nice they match. Matchy, matchy, don't you know? And this size came out. It's not a misprint. That's what it looks like. I needed some white. And this size came out. And as you can see, it's too tall and not wide enough and i thought well i measured it it's perfectly matched what's the problem well my printer cue has something called auto rotate and so what it does is it auto rotates everything for me i don't know why and i still had it set on fill the paper so instead of printing it the size that i made it it printed it 125 percent instead of 100 percent, and it auto rotated it sideways <sighs> So I have all of these fine little pages to play with. Probably go in the same project this will go in. I don't know. I don't know. So then I thought, well, all right, I'll just print two per page. That'll work. Those are too small. <laughs> Look at me go. It was a banner day here at Wagmore Studios. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, dear. But look how yummy and wonderful these are. They're so fabulous. And all I've been doing is taking my ruler and tearing off the offensive white border. I Normally I print borderless because I just, I cannot stand this process. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of paper, etc. But if you, if you need it a certain size, trimming is inevitable. So I have either a smaller journal or extra pages or stuff to make pockets with the bigger, you know, whatever. So I finally got it right. I finally got it right. This was a, a two year calendar. So it had two years worth of monthly pages in it. So what I did, was I went to the middle of it and I just pulled out several of the pages because because I'm adding a whole bunch of pages and these little staples aren't going to take a whole lot you know it they're not gonna it's not like a sewn binding that will expand and expand or spiral bind bound it won't take a whole lot for some reason i am hell-bent for leather instead of taking out all the pages and just using the cover i want to reuse what i can of the calendar i'm just going to glue these pages right onto the existing pages and you see i finally got the size right i finally got it just right goldilocks i may have to trim a little bit off 
the edges because as you fill them in they kind of stick out i don't know i'll see how it goes if it's just that tiny little bit i'm not going to worry about it. i think it might look pretty cool actually because you'll see all those pretty colors hanging out so all i'm going to do is fold these in half and glue them in to each of the pages and i'm just going to have a wonderful book of something and so because these are so bright you know putting stuff on top of it's not gonna be too hot um, i'm thinking white posca pens maybe just a commonplace book write down some quotes or maybe a, a wag more book one of the reasons my business is called wag more studios klm is because i always try to remind myself to wag more bark less wag more bitch less right just just Focus on the good stuff and leave the other stuff behind. Originally, I called it Wagmore Barkless Press, but, or Wagmore Barkless Studios, I need to take the bar Barkless out. Just don't even focus on the negative. That's a story for PCU. More on that over there. But I keep a Wagmore journal, meaning Wag, W A G, wonder, be in awe, and giggle more every day, you know? Like dogs, they, they enjoy the same toy over and over again, or they enjoy their ball just as much today as they did yesterday, and tomorrow they can't wait to play with their ball again. Some things they just notice and they are in awe of. Notice things throughout your day. Every single day there are things that make you wonder, awe, and giggle, especially when you start to look for them. And so this would be a great place, a bright, happy place to write down, my neighbor boy came over in the middle of a snowstorm and shoveled my porch and a path to the driver's door of my truck. That's no lie. He did that. It was snowing like crazy. And God love his pea picking heart. He came over here and he shoveled me out. That's going to go in my Wagmore book. Those kinds of things happen every single day. Every day. If we look for them. And I think that'd be a perfect place for that. The other thing that I think would be great here are, this is some happy mail from Jean Bainey, is taking things, shapes, that are white and putting that there. I just think that looks awesome. So that might happen right in it with my Posca pen. It could be a doodle book too, white Posca pen and just some fun doodles, quick, simple, ease your mind, lower your stress doodles. It could be that. All kinds of possibilities with this fun, bright stuff. As I was having all my printer problems and whatnot, I thought, well, I could, I might as well print out one more and I made a zine out of it as I was watching the magazine, excuse me, the Valen, Valen zine hop. One single piece of paper. I printed it on both sides because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with it. Um, so you print it on both sides if you want. You don't have to. It's kind of a waste, sort of, unless you make pockets. Like, take one of the, one of these and that's a bad corner to do it because that's the white spot. One of these corners and fold it down like that. And then you have a pocket and you won't have a blank piece of paper here. But I just, oh, I just am in love with these patterns and colors and vibrancy. And they are just absolutely scrumptious yummy. So two things, this, this, and this page are available free to my Patreon followers because you can follow for free now on Patreon. You don't have to be a paid member to follow along. And so you can go and make one of these zines if you would like or just get the, the two tie-dyed beautiful papers and use them in your journals or whatever. Do whatever you want with them. For the paid members, I did two sets of pages. One are just background pages. They're just plain. And the other set have, um, they actually goes on the side like that, enjoy today, positivity, things to focus on. Enjoy the day, it's a beautiful day. Why yes, of course I can. Yeah, there it is. Yes, of course I can. Yes I can, of course I can. Life is good. So both of those um, will be this month's Patreon thank you gift for supporting the channel and helping me to make more videos. I much appreciated, much, much, much appreciated. I, I, I don't know where this is from, but it's going to be a tab. You know, nothing ever goes to waste, even the misprints. I can find a use for it. This would be a great tab, right? 
What else would be pretty on here is this silvery white, white gold metallic. Spatter some of that around or do the edges. Do the edges with a silver pen or the white Posca pen. So many possibilities. You can shrink them down. The These are just my samples. I did not want to print the kit again, but the kits are designed to be full size print borderless landscape print borderless some of the words are on the top some go along the page edging so they're all the backgrounds and the ones with words are all for eight and a half by 11 print borderless and if you're using a four or different size paper and you and your printer will allow it you can print on any size it just scales up that's the beauty of a pdf it won't lose any of its vibrancy or clarity or anything like that you can size it on your printer easy peasy so you can size it down for a smaller project if that's something that you want to do so i hope this perks up your day a little bit go get yourself at least go get the zine so that you can make this and and fill this with bright happy quotes you can do them sideways too they don't work nearly as well but it can be done until we meet again, go love up those beastlies. Might I get the lake? Out for now.